We're very pleased to welcome onto the stage now the Secretary General of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg. Welcome to Copenhagen and welcome onto the stage. The floor is yours. So, just give you my hand. Good morning to all of you, Prime Minister Mette Fredriksen, dear Mette. It's uh, great to be here together with all of you today. And uh, Mette, thank you so much for your leadership, your uh, strong uh, commitment to the Transatlantic uh, Alliance, and for your uh, friendship. And uh, as you just mentioned, uh, last time I was in Copenhagen, we visited the Niels uh, Bohr Institute. We saw this, I don't know exactly what it was, but a big thing inside a glass monitor. I pretended I understood uh, uh, the questions, which was written down be, also, uh, before I arrived, and I read the questions. I didn't understand the questions, and I didn't understand the answers, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but I realized that this was extremely important, and the uh, high-end uh, high uh, technologies, which are important for uh, all of us. And, uh, and now we meet again, uh, not at the uh, Niels Bohr Institute, but at this uh, quantum conference. And I, I cannot speak on behalf of Meta, but I can speak on behalf of myself. I have, I have the same feeling. I actually now read on the plane two articles about quantum physics. Uh, well, uh, it is interesting, um, and, but, but, but what we understand is that even if we don't understand all the uh, uh, what I say, complexities of this new technology, we understand that this really matters for uh, our society and, uh, and uh, uh, not least for our uh, security. And that's the reason why conferences like this are is so extremely important, why it matters that we convene um, together, uh, the private sector, the public sector, uh, NATO, uh, to uh, address uh, both the, the, the challenges but also the opportunities that uh, quantum physics uh, uh, provides uh, to, uh, to uh, all of us. And therefore, there is uh, no better place to host this conference than here in Copenhagen. Denmark is not only a strong and valued NATO ally, it is also a driving uh, force behind NATO's innovation agenda and a leader in the field of quantum technologies in uh, Europe. Uh, as uh, as uh, Meta just referred to, um, uh, Niels Bohr um, uh, uh, also has had his home in, in, in Denmark, and of course, as a Dane, um, the quantum uh, physicist and uh, the Nobel Prize uh, uh, winner, but also one uh, of the major minds behind the inven uh, invention of the atomic uh, bomb. This was a complicated and uh, controversial uh, invention, but vital uh, for the free world. Uh, not only to uh, end the Second World War, but also to obtain our technological edge. And today, Denmark and all of you in different ways uh, help us to maintain and sharpen this technological edge. It matters greatly for our security. The competition to develop and control new technologies is intensifying. Russia is investing in and using disruptive tech to test our resilience and our resolve. And China is investing massively in artificial intelligence, big data, and a quantum and more. Beijing is integrating these new technologies into its military capabilities with no transparency and little regard uh, for human rights. NATO has always uh, adapted to and adopted new technologies uh, to keep our people safe. With a rapid spread of disruptive technologies, we must adapt uh, further and faster than ever before, including uh, in the field of quantum. It is safe to say uh, that not all of us fully understand uh, quantum technologies, and I watched the movie um, uh, Oppenheimer, uh, or say it was a good movie, but I, uh, I realised uh, then once again that there are limits what uh, uh, economists can understand uh, in the field of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, yeah, these kind of physical uh, sciences. But, uh, but uh, as I said, we understand that it matters, and uh, we should all be able to understand the transformative impact on our security, both good and bad. Quantum technologies can significantly improve our performance 
uh, of our detection, uh, navigation and radar systems, but also help uh, competitors track our equipment. They can strengthen uh, our cybersecurity, but also crack it. Bra breaking encryp encryption and compromising secret uh, communications. So we need to make sure that these technologies work for us and not against us. We need to develop um, and adopt them as, uh, at speed and scale. And for this, we need transatlantic quantum uh, uh, cooperation. We need a transatlantic uh, quantum uh, community. NATO is an indispensable part of this transatlantic quantum uh, community. We bring together uh, allied nations that are leading uh, the way on uh, quantum in Europe, including Denmark, France, Germany, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom, together with Canada and the United States on the other side of the Atlantic. We also bring together the public, private, and uh, uh, the academic uh, sectors to drive innovation uh, across uh, the alliance. This is what NATO's Defence Innovation Accelerator for the North Atlantic does, or DIANA. DIANA is a network uh, of test centres and accelerator sites across NATO countries, where innovators develop new technologies to solve some of our biggest security challenges. So let me therefore thank Denmark for hosting a DIANA accelerator a site and a test center here in Copenhagen, demonstrating the leading role of Denmark in these new technologies. And for Denmark's contribution to the NATO Innovation Fund, this first ever multi-sovereign investment fund uh, uh, will support innovators across the alliance, people like you uh, present here uh, today. By the end of this year, NATO will also have our uh, own quantum strategy to ensure our alliance is quantum ready, able to integrate the right technologies into our capabilities and to protect against their uh, adversarial use. For all of this, we need to collaborate better, innovate faster and compete harder. So thank you again uh, for hosting this uh, conference. Thank you, Meta, for uh, uh, sharing this stage uh, with me. And uh, thank you uh, so much to all of you for uh, helping and supporting the efforts of uh, NATO to develop our quantum strategy. Thank you so much.